Pitoy Biddle. Welcome to Project Ventive. In our today's video, we are going to talk about the Pitoy Biddle. Before the video starts, like and share this video also subscribe to our YouTube channel Project Ventive for more updates. Even though the idea of four-legged robots has been around for a few decades, the concept of quadruped robots is still just as cool and exciting as it was when it was originally introduced. Although there have been significant developments in the field of robotics since then, it is essential to keep moving forward and to inspire the engineers of the future. Pitoy continues to fulfill this objective by developing products like Biddle, which educates young people interested in robotics about the fundamentals of constructing and programming their creations. Pitoy's Biddle is a do-it-yourself DIY servo-based robot dog that can be controlled over Bluetooth, infrared, and Y. Fi networks. It is sent in a dismantled kit form, although a pre-built alternative is also available, and once it is assembled, it is astonishingly nimble, operating through remote control, via the app, or a variety of other programming possibilities. There is also an option for it to be delivered pre-built, more on that below. It is a nice small tool to study robotics with open source software, and it allows you to run example scripts before writing your own. The movement of the robot is controlled by a specialized Arduino board, and it is constructed using Pitoy's OpenCAT, which is an open source platform. The fact that it is open source also means that users can integrate more intelligent sensors, accessories, or even AI chips. My experience with Biddle, which lasted about a week, led me to the conclusion that it is an application that is both useful and interesting for people who are interested in getting into coding and or robotics. Not to mention the fact that putting everything together is a lot of fun. Biddle is a lightweight, palm-sized robot that weighs only 290G, and measures only a little bit larger than your hand. It's a handy little device, that can determine its orientation and will even correct itself if it rolls over onto its back, and it will. The highly modifiable New York board, which serves as the motherboard for the Biddle robot, has the capability of accommodating a wide variety of supplementary electronic components. Some of these components include an intelligent camera module, sound sensor, light sensor, touch sensor, PIR sensor, and even an OLED display. Biddle is a programmable robot dog aimed at robotic novices older than 14 years old, or anyone who wants to have fun learning and playing with robots. Biddle's target audience is anyone who wants to have fun learning and playing with robots. Biddle is programmed with a few basic tricks such as walk and trot that learners may try out to familiarize themselves with what the robot can do, and then subsequently expand to more complex sorts of behavior. The price of Biddle is set at $339, assembled, and it can be purchased online. Even in light of the current state of the economy, this STEM kit may appear to be somewhat pricey. Yet, when compared to other quadruped products now available on the market, it is quite inexpensive. The retail price of some servo, based for, legged robots, such as the Sco Mini or the Puppy Pie, opens a new tab, is closer to $1,000. Pitoy can maintain competitive prices for its products, because it operates on open, source software and open, source hardware foundation. You can enhance the capabilities of the open, source platform offered by Biddle by adding Raspberry Pi or Grove sensors, doing research on artificial intelligence and machine learning projects, or engaging in a variety of STEM activities. However, these add-ons are not included in the standard package, so you will need to make a separate payment to acquire them. Because Raspberry Pis continue to be in short supply, it may be difficult for you to get a good deal on one, let alone locate one that is in stock. Biddle comes in two different models, a pre-assembled kit, and a construction kit that customers put together on their own. It is available in a variety of color combinations, including black and yellow, blue and yellow, and red and yellow. Procedures involved in construction. The general technique of building starts with inserting four long cable servos into the bottom leg sections, followed by securing them into position with the self-tapping screw. It is recommended that you use your screwdriver for this step. The neck joint is formed by a short cable servo that slots into the head and is secured in the same manner as before. After the neck servo has been installed, the head of the robot may be quickly popped on and off of the main frame with no effort. 
the shoulders are controlled by four servos that have short cables and may be simply slotted into position on the body frame. After you have screwed these into place, it should not be difficult for you to thread the cables that are attached to the head and legs through the body. Because there are a lot of wires that are just hanging loose at this stage, it is essential to maintain them as organized and clean as is humanly possible. This can get a little bit fiddly. Biddle Basic Kit The Biddle sample device was sent ready to use with the black and yellow color combination already in place. Because the main body and legs were fully assembled, very little assembly was necessary. After inserting the head, which had already been pre-assembled, attaching the tail, and charging the batteries, Biddle was ready to use right out of the box. All that was required was a snap. This model could be fun for almost anyone, including younger makers, children younger than 14, who just want to play with Biddle as a regular pet toy and get some hand-on experience. With movement manipulation or adding on to Biddle's built-in routines, this model has a lot of built in features that make it easy to add new features to Biddle. You can operate your Biddle in one of three different ways. By making use of the infrared remote control, that is included with the starter package, by using the mobile app on your phone, or by downloading the desktop app onto your computer. The pre-assembled robot was also pre-calibrated and packed with a series of basic tricks, such as walking, sitting, standing, and trotting. You may regulate the speed using the controller, of your choice to either speed up or slow down the robot as it performs these tricks. It also included several other entertaining tricks that my son, who is 9 years old, was eager to try out straight immediately, such as play dead, say hi, pee, and do push-ups. When I saw how easily and organically Biddle could move and trot around, the eyes of my daughter lit up with excitement. On the floor of our living room, she switched the direction of its movements from left to right and back and forth. Despite this, it was quite agile and managed to keep its balance well during the process. On the carpet, however, Biddle's movement was not nearly as graceful as when it was performed on hardwood or other smooth surfaces. She had a lot of fun adjusting the speed at which each movement was carried out, which led her to the discovery of a cool capability that Biddle possessed. It was able to right itself and return to a standing position if it tripped over something, or fell because of an obstruction in its path. She was blown away by the fact that this fail, safe maneuver was completely autonomous, and appeared to be something that a real pet would do. Biddle is the ideal size for her to be able to pick up and position in a variety of play situations, because of her height and weight. She is 6 inches tall, and Biddle weighs less than 2 pounds. On the other hand, she did not like how its head kept falling off all the time. Even though it was simple enough to snap back into place each time it fell, she realized that after a while she avoided certain actions because she did not want to hurt Biddle. Surprisingly, it turned out to be a desirable characteristic of the robot rather than a flaw in the manufacturing of the product. In addition to its use as a clip that can secure even the tiniest of items, the head is also where the additional sensors that can be attached for use in engaging STEM activities are stored. Kit for the construction of battlements. Biddle is also available as a do it yourself construction kit model, which ships unassembled, so that you can have the experience of putting together the entire robot yourself. This is an activity that anyone interested in robotics should participate in, because it is both worthwhile and extremely enjoyable. You will also get knowledge of circuitry and how to organize cables. Even the one that comes pre-built is $10 less expensive than this one. The rigid, long, lasting polyethylene that makes up the main body frame is also used for the legs. Because of its ingenious construction, which includes a mechanism for interlocking parts, putting it together is a breeze. You can find assembly video guides and tutorials online if you require further guidance or assistance. The online manual also provides you with diagrams that you can consult for further information. When you put together Biddle on your own, you will need to upload code to the New York board, and check that the connectors you use are linked to the appropriate circuits. After you have calibrated the device, you can next attach the screws with the flat end. A little screwdriver is included in the kit, but, if you want to speed up the assembly procedure, you can use an electric screwdriver instead if you have one on hand. The process of assembling, calibrating, and uploading the program ought to take roughly 40 minutes. During this procedure, 
we were thankful for Pitoy's time and assistance, which was one of the things that we appreciated. When we reached out to them with difficulties, they responded quickly and were extremely helpful. To begin, we had to disassemble the robot by loosening all of the screws on the legs, then we extracted the servos from their sockets, and finally, we reassembled everything. After that, we were required to go through the process of manually calibrating each servo motor. Although the calibrating joint tuner that was included in the kit proved to be useful, the screwdriver that was included was difficult to operate. We advise you to use a different one if you have one in your toolbox, or even an electric screwdriver, if you have one if you have access to either of these options. To tell you the truth, it took some time before Biddle was properly calibrated. Because we had to learn via a lot of trial and error, we had to restart the process several times, before we were able to get Biddle back to a state where it was acceptable to be used. How was the video? Do you like it? Post your precious feedback in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Projectventive for more videos.